Hello everyone and welcome to another demonstration. Today I'm going to be using the Ansible automation platform to connect to virustotal.com and do a little bit of investigation enrichment. So the idea being um, I'm getting an alert from my sim and it says hey you know here's some suspicious traffic or maybe Mimecast has captured something you know one of my users has alerted me to an phishing alert whatever it happens to be I need to take that information I need to do some additional investigation so one of the manual steps a lot of folks do is they go to virustotal.com they put in the URL or upload the file have it do some checks on it so they have this really cool feature where you can come in here and you can put in a, a standard URL this one I know <clears throat> has some hits on it right so you can get an idea of what it looks like so you saw that it returned really fast it gives you um, an interesting look at here's all the various services that we're hitting and here are the ones that came back as malicious or malware it gives you some additional information so while that's great again this is a manual step we want to automate as much of this as possible so that's where this playbook comes in so it gives us the ability to um, pop in in a programmatic way and do that exact same stuff so I'm gonna give a quick demonstration I'm doing it via tower so within tower I just name it give it an inventory which doesn't really matter because it's using the local host I'm pointing to my virus total count uh, playbook which is on my public github right here and then I launch it so I'm using a survey and a survey allows you to gather additional information from a user. So in this case, I'm basically popping up and saying, hey, what URL would you like to test? And by default, I have the malware test site in there. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And it's going to pop up and I'll say, yeah, sure. Go ahead and, and check the, uh, the malware wincar.org so I can see some actual hits on this. It's going to pop in, connect over to the API. Everything runs pretty cleanly. I have it actually debugging some information so that it spits out some output so it makes it a little bit clearer to see. But if you take a look right here, it uh, says that I have eight total matches. So I can scroll up in the debug and I can see what those matches are. Right? And so I've generally been told if it gets um, more than one hit on virus total, it's definitely something that is malicious. You need to take a look at it. So while this is just outputting some additional information. It's very, I mean, it's honestly no different than going to virustotal.com um, and just hitting it. But the idea being is you can do all this in a programmatic way. So I can have my automation uh, then actually perform additional tasks. So I could go and I could do some quarantining or I could update an incident or I mean, I could do any number of things. But if I go to something clean, just as an additional test, I'll launch that. It should perform the same actions. It should run through everything and it should come back as, hey, this site is just fine. So at the very bottom, total malware, zero. So it's a really easy check, like in a win clause. So taking a look at the playbook, I've got a few important variables here. One is the API key and you could specify it here, but what I'm doing is I'm using Ansible Tower's custom credentials and passing that in at runtime. So I don't have to keep that in plain text. I don't actually have to have it live anywhere. It just moves in at runtime. Test URL, what URL am I testing to? So whenever you call this playbook, you just want to adjust the test URL variable. This total uh, malicious count, that's really just a kind of me instantiating a counter variable. And really, I'm using the URI module here. And 99% of the time, this is how I interact with APIs. It's a built-in module, so for you that aren't familiar with modules, it's basically a pre-written chunk of code, generally in Python, that hides all the complexity behind it for you. So you don't have to be a programmer, you don't have to understand how Python works. You just call the UI module, you throw the API call at it that you want. In this case, I'm doing variable replacement right here, so I'm putting in the API key at runtime and I'm putting in the test URL at runtime it's registering that to a variable which basically means it's saving it to a variable I'm then doing some additional formatting so set fact allows me to set a new variable so I'm going to set the total scans variable and I'm taking the total output the JSON scans and I am basically formatting the dictionary to a list so once I have a list I can iterate over that list really easily right here and that's exactly what I'm doing I'm just iterating over the list uh, of total scans over and over and over when it sees that there is a variable item dot value dot detected is true then it adds an additional 
plus one to total malicious, and then I'm outputting that number. So very simple, very clean, uh, easily integrated into your existing um, uh, workflow. So really curious to see how you guys would use this. How would you change this? Can you see this kind of fitting into your environment? Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.